you've started to learn the cloud and you want to get hired into your first cloud job. The best way to get hired is by building hands-on projects. However, you don't want to just build random cloud projects. You want to build cloud projects that demonstrate your skills and showcase them through your cloud portfolio to future employers. Hi, I'm Soleiman. I'm an AWS cloud engineer and I hold the AWS Solution Architect Associate and the AWS Solution Architect Professional Certification. Today, I'm going to share the best AWS cloud projects to get you hired and get you hired fast. In fact, I've built these cloud projects myself that help me secure multiple job offers from the biggest companies in the world. And trust me, once your interviewers hear and see these cloud projects on your CV, they'll be rushing to offer you a job. These next seven AWS cloud projects won't be the simple, boring cloud projects that everyone recommends, like creating a static website in an S3 bucket or launch a simple EC2 server. These projects will challenge you and help you really understand the AWS services and how they work together. The idea for these cloud projects is to inspire you and maybe give you a light bulb moment to even add or think of your own cloud projects. And I'm going to be honest, these cloud projects will push you but through this, you will learn so much and it help build you up as a competent, world-class cloud engineer. Now, when you are building cloud projects, you want to think and design how you can use different AWS services to build solutions, because this is what you would do when you're working within your job in a cloud environment working with customers. Now, when you are starting out, focus on the breadth of services to build projects. So you get exposed to as many AWS services as possible and be able to connect them together. I'm going to focus on some of the most popular AWS services and also some special ones that will help you stand out from all the applications. One of the best projects to always start with is an architecture focused project. Architecture is the bread and butter, the foundational layer and you should design a highly available AWS architecture, breaking down the different components and layers of the architecture and why they are being used. I suggest first using a design tool like Excel Draw and then putting together the architecture networking pieces, like your AWS region, your VPC, availability zones, public and private subnets, and your internet gateway. Then think about how you would host an application in this architecture and split this up into layers, your app and your database layer. Use an EC2 to host your app and an RDS to host your database layer. Now, don't worry too much about the low-level technicalities. Focus on the high-level understanding of how AWS architectures are recommended to be built using best practices. By the end, you should have an architecture that looks something like this, and then you should document it via a blog adding in what you've designed, why you've used these services, and how they work together. This is a perfect piece of work to add to your portfolio and also share it online so people can see it and gain traction by networking on LinkedIn and on X. Now, this first project will show that you know AWS architecture, networking, and app best practices. And these are fundamentals that you can put into practice when you get a job. The second AWS cloud project is a text-to-speech converter using AWS Lambda and AWS Poly a powerful text-to-speech conversion service. This project allows you to create an application that can transform written text into natural sounding spoken audio in multiple languages and voices. Now, developing a text-to-speech converter is not only a valuable skill, but also a feature in a highly modern world of applications and websites. Now, learning the capabilities of AWS Lambda and AWS Poly provides you with hands-on experience using AI-powered AWS services. Now, Lambda Lambdas are also super popular and I think the future of cloud web applications. To create this text-to-speech converter, start by setting up an AWS Lambda function, which will act as the core of your application. Now, this function will take written text as input and interact with AWS Poly to generate a spoken audio output. Begin by creating an AWS Lambda function using the AWS Management Console. Configure it to accept text input. Next up, set up the connection between your Lambda function and AWS Poly. Now, AWS Poly offers a straightforward API that you can call from your Lambda function to convert text to speech to allow users 
to select the desired language and voice for the output. AWS Poly actually offers a range of voices and languages to choose from. Once you've done that, you want to create a simple user interface, which can be a web page or even a CLI interface to accept user input in the form of written text. When users input text, your application will send it to the Lambda function, which will then use AWS Poly to generate the corresponding spoken audio. Provide the generated audio output to users, allowing them to listen to converted text. Now, by completing this project, you'll gain practical experience in setting up AWS Lambda functions, integrating them with AWS Poly, and building a user-friendly interface for text-to-speech conversion. By the way, if you're interested in being mentored by me, I've launched my AWS Cloud Mentorship Program, taking in around three students and helping you learn the cloud and get you hired. If you're interested, email me down below to get started. The next beginner AWS Cloud project to get you hired is emailing with AWS Lambda. Now you wanna develop an emailing application using AWS Lambda for sending mass emails to a large audience. This project uses AWS Lambda with AWS SES, AWS's simple email service along with SNS, the simple notification service. Building an email application capable of sending emails is a practical skill often required in various business scenarios. AWS Lambda service capabilities combined with SES and SNS offer an excellent platform for achieving this effectively. Now, firstly, you want to begin by creating the AWS Lambda function through the console. This function will serve as the core of your emailing application. Next, configure your Lambda function to work with AWS SES. Now, SES provides the capability to send emails in bulk. Now, you want to ensure that your Lambda function can access SES, and then you need to utilize AWS S3 so you can upload a CSV file containing the email addresses and message content to an S3 bucket. Now you can just make a list of people emails that you know, or even just add your own for testing purposes. After this, set up an S3 event trigger that monitors the designated S3 bucket for new CSV file uploads. When a file is uploaded, this will trigger your Lambda function. Now your Lambda function should be programmed to import the CSV file data into a database or a suitable storage solution for processing. Now, once you have the CSV going into your database, you want to develop the logic within your Lambda function to read the recipient data from the database and use AWS SES to send personalized emails to each user. Now, by completing this project, you'll gain hands-on experience in creating a mass email solution using AWS Lambda, SES, and S3. You understand the integration of serverless functions, cloud storage, and an email service to automate a common business task. Now, this project will serve as a very valuable addition to your AWS portfolio, showcasing your ability to develop cost-effective and scalable solution. Don't forget to document it and share it on your socials. Now, just a quick note, you want to always develop these projects using the AWS console first, and then once you've done that, you should rebuild the same project using infrastructure as code, either with Terraform or CDK. Because when you're actually working as a cloud engineer or working in the cloud in general, you won't really be using the console to build infrastructure and build solution. It's all done with infrastructure as code. Now, the next project is building a CI CD pipeline with GitHub Actions and Code Pipeline, creating a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline that automates the build, test, and deployment processes for your software using GitHub Actions and AWS Code Pipeline. Now, this project streamlines the software development lifecycle and ensures reliable and rapid software delivery. This is key when you're working in software teams and in cloud teams. CICD is crucial for modern software development teams, allowing them to automate the testing and deployment and resulting in quicker and more reliable releases. Now, learning to set up CICD pipeline using GitHub Actions and Code Pipeline is a highly valuable for DevOps and cloud engineering role. Firstly, you want to host your project's code in a GitHub repo and set up Git for version control. Next, configure a build environment using GitHub Actions to compile and package your application application code. After this, create an AWS code pipeline to automate the deployment process. You can define stages for build, test, and deployment. And from here, you want to use AWS code build to execute the build and test stages within your code pipeline. Once that is done, you want to define deployment targets, which could be either Elastic Beanstalk, Lambda, EC2, 
or any other compute AWS service. I also suggest to have an approval stage to manually approve deployments. As a bonus, you can also add a rollback strategy to handle failed deployments. Completing this project will help you with practical experience in setting up CI/CD pipelines using GitHub Actions and AWS Code Pipeline. Now, if you want to know how these AWS services actually work together and how to build a successful cloud career, you should sign up to my free weekly email newsletter where I break down technical cloud concepts and help you understand them. Now, the next project is creating a virtual assistant to Amazon Alexa and replicating its functionality using Lambda and the Alexa Skills Kit. Now, this project focuses on developing your custom Alexa skills, which are voice activated applications by leveraging AWS Lambda to implement the logic. Now, building a virtual assistant like Alexa is challenging yet rewarding. It allows you to explore voice technology and integrate it with AWS services. And it's also a very valuable project to showcase your skills in voice enabled applications using Lambda functions. You want to begin by setting up your Alexa skills kit, also known as ASK, in your developer account and define your custom Alexa skill. Decide what actions or responses your virtual assistant will provide and then create your AWS Lambda function that serves as the handler for your Alexa skill. This Lambda function will contain the logic for responding to voice commands and executing actions. Configure your Alexa skill to interact with your Lambda function and define the voice commands and responses that trigger your Lambda function. Now you can implement the logic within your Lambda function to handle various of different user requests. For example, you can create a function to play music, setting your reminders, or even booking a hotel room. By completing this project, you'll gain valuable experience in creating voice activities activate application using AWS Lambda and Alexa Skills Kit. Now the next project is creating a content recommendation system using AWS SageMaker and AWS Machine Learning Service. This project focuses on utilizing AI and ML to recommend content products or services and users based on their past online behavior and preferences. Now the content recommendation systems are widely used across streaming and social media platforms to personalize the user experience. You watch this video via the YouTube recommendation system and it's good to know how it's built. Building a content recommendation system in today's world is so important learning to leverage AWS SageMaker and machine learning algorithms for content recommendations is such a valuable skill, especially in e-commerce, streaming, and social media industries. Start by setting up your AWS SageMaker environment within your AWS account. Next, you want to gather user data such as browsing history, purchase behavior and preferences. This will serve as the basis for recommendations. You can actually use your own data for this, export it from your browser. After that, you want to prepare and process the collected data for use in machine learning models. From here, you need to choose the appropriate machine learning algorithm for your recommendation system. For this project, you can consider using K nearest neighbor, also known as the KNN algorithm. So now that we have this, we are ready to train the recommendation model using SageMaker provided providing it with the pre-processed data. For the recommendation generation, you want to implement the logic that generates content recommendation for users based on their profiles and their behavior. Now, this may involve using the train model to find similar users or items. And finally, you want to integrate the recommendation system into your application or website, allowing users to receive personalized recommendations. Now, by completing this project, you'll gain insights into data pre-processing, machine learning algorithm, model training, and integration. The next project is creating a document conversion application that swiftly and accurately converts documents from one format to another. Now, this project again uses AWS Lambda to develop an efficient way of document conversion, allowing users to transform contents in their desired formats, such as converting HTML to PDF, Excel to Word, or other document conversions. Now, document conversion is a common need in various scenarios from converting resumes for job applications to transforming web content for online use. Learning to build a rapid document conversion app with AWS Lambda is a practical skill with applications 
in multiple industries. Again, begin by setting up your Lambda function through the AWS Management Console. This Lambda function will serve as the core of your document converging application. Next, you want to create a user-friendly interface, which can be the web page again, or the CLI to interact with users. From here, implement the functionality to retrieve the user selected document, whether it's an HTML page, Excel sheet, or any other format. Now you want to develop the logic within your Lambda function to convert the input document to the desired output format. You can leverage libraries or external tools for this purpose. Now make sure that the converted document retains proper formatting and structure, especially if it involves complex data. Next, once it's been converted, you want to provide the user with the option to either download the converted document or display it onto a web page depending on what they want. Finally, deploy your document conversion app, making it accessible to users who need to convert their documents. You can probably host it on a GitHub Pages website. Now those were the seven AWS cloud projects to get you hired fast for beginners. Drop a comment below which project that you're doing first. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.